Hi everyone, this is Shauna from Shauna.Plans. Tonight we're going to talk about the new releases from Pink Punch Studio. She does her releases every Friday. So we'll talk about uh, what was released last Friday, do a little bit of planning, and then I will give you a sneak peek of some of the stuff that's going to be released tomorrow. Something to note, um, Pink Punch Studio is participating in the Planner Mayhem sale that starts tomorrow. So everything in the shop will be 30% off once the Planner Mayhem sale starts. And that one is a coupon code and the coupon code doesn't get posted until the sale starts tomorrow morning. So keep an eye on the Planner Mayhem Facebook group or the Pink Punch Studio Facebook group for what the coupon code is. And you can get all of your Pink Punch Studio purchases and anybody else participating in the sale 30% off. The majority of the shops in the sale are um, physical planner shops, printables. I'm not sure how many digital shops are in it. Usually there's only one or two, but Pink Punch Studio is in it. So you can get 30% off with the Planner Mayhem coupon code once it's released all weekend. I think the sale goes from the 5th to the 7th. There's also a giveaway, I believe on Instagram, if you check out the Planner Mayhem Instagram account. Um, anyway, so with that done, let's talk about last week's new releases. We had the watercolor swashes. This is in the Secret Garden colorway. We have the Secret Garden vintage feather pins. I love these. They go so well with the new junk journals. We have the teacups, the desk pads. These ones are my favorite. I love these cloth desk mats. They look so real. Amazing. We have the junk journal kit. These flowers are a new style of rose we haven't had before, and they're super pretty. They look so good in this colorway. They match the ones that are in the corners of the Secret Garden Kiss Planners this month. And then the butterfly paper clips. So you can build these clips. You can take the butterfly and pop it on top of the clip and make it look like a butterfly clip um, or or not. You can just use them, scatter them on your desk to decorate. These clips are sort of loose, unused clips and these are the clips that would be on your paper. You'd line the top here. You'd line this part here up with the top of your paper so it looks like it's actually on the paper. And that's it for the Secret Garden colorway. And then we got the uh, Dark Romance colorway. So we have the Dark Romance wine glasses and the Dark Romance Gothic roses. These match, the, the wine glasses and the roses match what's in the corners of the Dark Romance Kiss Planners this month. Super coordinated, love my matchy matchy. Come on, open. Here is the Dark Romance watercolor swashes. This palette is so pretty. We have the feather pens, desk mats, the junk journal stickers, and the butterflies. Fantastic releases last Friday. So I am going to close everything that's Secret Garden we're going to make a spread using the Dark Romance stickers. I, um, last month's palette, uh, Bunny Tails palette is pretty much my favorite palette. It's just a whole pile of beige and I love it. You get all the different shades of beige. So this is the Bunny Tails colorway. And I love it so much that I am using it two months in a row. That is a first. I have never not used the current month's palettes for my Kiss Planner. But there's a first time for everything. And I love Bunny Tails. It is just so versatile. I can build any spread up on top of it. Um, and, and it works. So, first, I'm going to grab 
one of these dust mats. I think I'm going to go with this reddish one. And I'm going to put that down on my page first. And I'm just going to move it to the side. I want it to be underneath everything. So it needs to be my first layer on my GoodNotes page. Um, otherwise, it does weird things. You know what? I think I'm going to do two. Let's grab this kind of taupey gray one. I might do two dust mats this time. So I'm going to put both of them off to the side here and we'll bring them out when we're done. I'm going to close that. I'm going to open the junk journal kit and I think we'll use the stack of papers. I'm wondering, maybe I'll pull this one out first. And paste that down. I'm going to use my favorite typewriter font, which is called Tippa. And I'm going to put my date on here. So tomorrow is Friday. And it is the 5th. That didn't work because I forgot to change it to Tippa. There we go. And then with a lowercase th, and I forgot to change it to Tippa again again because I suck. All right, there we go. So now I'm going to take my lasso tool and I'm going to turn the image toggle off and I'm going to resize. I'm resizing each of these separately because I like the five to be kind of big. And then I like the TH to be little and kind of up here. There we go. So I'm going to use that as my date. Now I'm going to turn my image toggle back on. So now when I lasso, it's going to grab all of it. And I'm going to put a little bit of an angle on this. And let's just move it up high. Now I'm going to grab this stack of paper and put it on top and we'll leave that one poking out the side with the date. I think that turned out cute. All right. Now let's grab the wine glass. I'm going to stick with red just like we used the red dust mat there. I'm going to put that in this corner. We'll pull it out later. I just want to close this tab and we'll grab some roses. I think I'm gonna grab the multicolored one. I'm gonna put that on this side. We might swap those around, but we'll just put that there and then I can close that tab. Now I don't have quite so many open. It's a little easier to find things. So I think I always have four things on every spread. So I'm going to start by grabbing this little swoosh and I'm going to put it here and then I'm going to copy and put it here. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to rotate it. There we go. And now I need four boxes. I think I'm gonna go these four. I'm just going to try and line them up so they're sort of evenly spaced apart. Does that look okay? I think that looks okay. And then I'm going to put them in the middle. Let's 
smush this a bit so it fits better. Okay, and now I have my four things that I like to track. So I'm going to do my font tool, Tippa, and we have winds, Tippa, gratitude, and to do. And then I'm going to tap my tools off and I'm going to go to the last page where I have these daily checklists that I pre-made in Procreate and I like to use them to track every day. So now I'm going to turn my tools off, link to the first page, and then link to tomorrow. There we go. So now we're back. And I think I'll put this one here. To do turn that image toggle off again so when I lasso it's only gonna grab my words and not my images and then we can move those words where we need them and turn that back on all right so now I need to make some bullets I'm going to use these two brads that come in this kit. My toggles are on, so I'm going to grab these, copy, and I'm going to find a blank spot on my page, and I'm going to paste them here. I'm going to draw a straight line with my pen tool. Color doesn't matter. And I'm going to tap the image tool and just make sure these are the same size and they are. And I'm going to line them up with my pink line. And I'm just going to eyeball it so that they stay spaced apart evenly. So I want this space and this space the same hard to tell because that little box came up. That's too close together. So let's move it down a little bit. And then we can delete the line. And now I have some nicely lined up bullets that we're going to put here. Perfection. All right, so there's my four things that I like to track on my planner. We can do a little bit of decorating here. That doesn't really fit. Maybe we can use these ribbons. Oh, I hit paste instead of copy. Copy. There we go. That looks pretty. I love these ribbons, these lacy ones. 
It definitely needs to be on here somewhere. underneath all of this. So if we do a cut and a paste, yeah, I like that. All right, so now I'm going to grab all of this and make it as big as I can. So you can see it all. Oh, that turned out really good. I like it. Now we can make this big. I think I'll put it there. And it's just gonna go in behind. We'll grab this one, put it here, and it'll go in behind because we had it on the first layer. I'm gonna bring this and do a cut and a paste because I wanna make sure that the shadows are on see these shadows here I want to make sure they're on top to add the realistic effect and same thing with the wine glass cut and paste I could have put these down last but I wanted to close that tab this ribbon isn't showing up very well on this dark piece. that we can just move things around. I think I like them both over on this side. And I like the red balancing. So we need a feather pen. We have a perfect spot for it. I'm thinking this darkish one. I think so. Look how pretty this is. So even though this is the same flower sticker, I can resize it different sizes and rotate it a little and then I can kind of sprinkle a few of them down and they don't I mean if you really look you can tell it's probably the same flower but it's not like in your face the same flower so I think I think we're done That turned out really pretty. Very dark romance if you ask me. All right, so let's close all that. And I'm all set up for tomorrow. I have my four main things that I track. And that means it's time to do our sneak peek. I'm gonna go to my top secret folder. And this is exciting. We have papers coming tomorrow. I love digital papers and these, this is the dark, dark romance version. They're so pretty. The teal with the gold glitter, the stripes and the text script. So pretty, so pretty. And we also have the secret garden papers. They're 
amazing. I love the papers. So much you can do with them. Okay, we have the crystal wand pens. That's dark romance. And we have them in Secret Garden. We have the ice drinks. Dark romance. And Secret Garden. The swatches. And these, look at how pretty they are. Look at this. This, this, everything. Beautiful. The washi, I really like this one. Turned out gorgeous. And then the Secret Garden stickers as well. So pretty. So that's most of tomorrow's releases. There'll be a few other ones that will be a surprise. But these and everything else in the Pink Punch Studio Shop will be on sale 30% off with the Planner Mayhem coupon. So make sure you check out Find the Planner Mayhem sale post in the Pink Punch Studio group. It may, I don't even know, it might start at midnight sometime zone, which means it could start any minute now, um, or, or it could start in the morning. I have no idea, but I do know it's from the 5th to the 7th. So keep your eye out for that 30% off coupon code, and you can stock up on Pink Punch Studio goodies this weekend. Um, I will link the Pink Punch Studio Facebook group and... Um, Etsy shop in the description to this video so make sure you check those out and uh, like this video subscribe to my channel all that stuff I will be back on Monday to do some more planning with you so I'll see you then I hope you all have a fabulous weekend I know I will be <laughs> until Monday bye everyone